We good? Yep, okay. okay. Sorry we're late. Hi everyone, it's Megan. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds so that some people can sign on. But we are gonna be talking about a certain kind of problem today that I see a lot and that is with adult acne. A lot of people who have never had acne in their lives will get it, <laughs> will get it in their 30s, their 40s, sometimes even their 50s. And it's very frustrating, <laughs> very frustrating because people don't know why it comes and they don't know how to treat it. And it's actually something that's very, uh, very frustrating as an, as an adult because you think it's just for a 13 year old or a teenager and then you grow out of it. But that is actually sometimes not the case. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why people get acne in their 30s, 40s, 50s, sometimes even later than that. Um, and that can be to, especially in women, uh, fluctuating hormones. Now, if you're um, getting off of birth control, you could be getting flare-ups. If you're perimenopausal, you can get flare-ups. If you're menopausal, you can get flare-ups. If you're in your um, pregnant, you can get flare-ups. So basically, any kind of hormonal change can be like, ah, why? Us women, we have to deal with this. Uh, sometimes men do too, but mostly women uh, have the problem with adult acne. Um, so basically, if you're getting that without the hormones, it can also be due to stress. Some people might be familiar with the stress hormone cortisol. Now that's a very fun one because it creates a lot of inflammation. So if you're stressed out at work, you're not taking care of yourself mentally, or you just have a lot of life, Cortisol goes up, you can't lose weight, your skin breaks out, and inflammation just wreaks havoc everywhere. And then there's also hair products and skin products. So if you're using something that's not professional, has a lot of oil in your hair, if you're getting it around your, uh, the perimeters of your face, it can be due to the, to the ingredients in your hair care um, as well as skin care. You're gonna wanna look for things that say oil-free, non-comedogenic, um, and that just basically means it's not gonna be clogging your pores. Now, I have a problem with oil-free sometimes because people think all oil is bad. It's not the case. When I say oil-free, I'm talking mineral oil, petroleum, petrolatum, petroleum jelly, things that have a lot of parabens and uh, things that sit on top of the skin. It does not penetrate. It acts like saran wrap. It just sits right on top of the skin so your, can, your skin can't detoxify and it'll start clogging the pores. So make sure you're using good ingredients. Um, and while I'm doing this, I want to let everybody know that if you comment on this video, I am going to be randomly picking somebody to have a free 15-minute express facial with me as well as a, a product of their choice, um, a skincare uh, sample of their choice, um, and, a, and a consultation. So you can come in and talk about what's going on with your skin and we can choose uh, accordingly to what will help you. Um, now, we talked about the, the reasons, now let's talk about treatment. Uh, treatment can uh, basically, I, I, I wanna really Put out the importance of health and wellness. I want to talk about your gut. I think that that is the number one way to really clear up what's going on on the uh, surface of the skin. That is really, um, you want to pay attention to what's what uh, the health in your in your gut, your bacteria in your gut. Um, so make sure you're doing a, a very healthy diet and if you don't really know what to choose as far as foods. We did a, a video last week about production of collagen, and that actually is very good for all of our um, health and wellness. A lot of vegetables, fruits, things like that, but you wanna pay attention to the good bacteria in your, in your gut, and that's gonna really help with uh, gas, uh, skin problems, weight gains, 
tired, sluggish, things like that. And then you can come in and get facial treatments that's probably going to include extractions depending on whether or not your acne is uh, flared, can be extracted. You know, I would have to kind of see it in order to be able to tell what I would need to do. Um, and then I really also think that dairy, if you have a lot of dairy in your diet, um, that can cause breakouts on the skin. If you have a lot of salt, sugar, peanut butter, all of those things create mucus in the body. So cut back on all those things. I know it's hard. I do know that it's very, very hard, but there are other alternatives that you can do. Just research that in, in Google. Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt is a good one for regular iodized salt. Um, and then of course, you wanna make sure you're managing your stress. Now, if you're not taking care of yourself mentally, how are you able to take care of somebody else that you love and, and, and be healthy all around? So you wanna make sure your stress level is down so your cortisol level goes down. You're able to sleep at night, which a lot of people have a trouble with. Um, and that's another thing is we do have a program here that will help you keep yourself accountable for for a discounted price. So if, you're, if you need to de-stress, spa services are fantastic for that. Now I do have laid out here a couple of products that we have in our um, retail section because not everybody needs the harshest treatment possible. Um, sometimes you might just need to balance your pH, in which case this Ormetic is an organic cleanser and it will balance the pH of your skin. If you need a little more harsher treatment, salicylic acid, we have our clear cell line, which is specifically formulated for grades acne, uh, one, two, three, up and higher. We have it 2%, uh, 5% salicylic acid in our products in the clear cell line, but it, but it can dry out the skin. And we also have our ageless line. This has alpha hydroxy acid and glycolic acid in there, so it exfoliates. It um, cellular rejuvenates on the on the surface there. So it really just depends what kind of acne you have and what's going on because you don't necessarily need tons of things that are going to dry out your skin. You might just need a good skincare regimen and some knowledge on ingredients. Um, and that's basically it. If you comment on this video though, I do want to let you know I'm going to be randomly picking someone to win an express facial, a skin consultation with me, and as well as you're gonna be able to choose out of your choice, based on what we talk about, uh, a trial kit. So you can test it out and see what works for you. Um, but anyway, I hope you found this video very informative. Please give us a like or a heart and share if you uh, think that somebody else will benefit. All right, have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you for tuning in and we will talk to you next week.